Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Have you ever heard about foul pox in chickens? Luckily, this is not a fast spreading viral infection, but it's still important for you to react quickly to prevent the spread to all of your birds. In this video, you'll learn everything about foul pox in chickens, its symptoms, treatment, and prevention. But before we get into that, please don't forget to give our channel some love by liking our content and subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also visit our website at thehappychickencoop.com or subscribe or email newsletters to learn more tips and tricks in raising a healthy flock. Fowl pox is a worldwide viral infection that primarily affects chickens and turkeys, but has been known to spread to quail, pheasants, geese, ducks, canaries, and even birds of prey. It's especially common in areas with high mosquito populations, since their bites carry the infection. Some chickens become naturally immune to it after contracting fowl pox. Others can catch it repeatedly especially when they are stressed or already have a weakened immune system. The avian pox virus causes it and can manifest as wet or dry. Dry fowl pox or cutaneous form usually gives chickens dry, scaly lesions on unfeathered areas such as the comb, wattles, and legs. They may also appear in the mouth, pharynx, and trachea and are white, gray, or black. They look like cuts or raised bumps like blisters. These blisters will eventually grow, turn yellow, or look like dark scabs or warts. Another form is the wet fowl pox or the diphtheritic form. Wet pox is uncomfortable and more deadly than dry pox. It leaves your flock with yellowish lesions in the mucous membranes of the mouth, throat, and upper respiratory tract, which can lead to difficulty breathing and swallowing. How does fowl pox spread between chickens? Usually, pox spreads through direct contact with infected birds or contaminated surfaces. This happens when birds share a coop, especially through food and water sources, foraging near contaminated feces, or sharing nesting boxes. Feather debris, skin dander, pus, scabs, blood, and flaked off pieces of skin are other ways that it transmits from chicken to chicken. It can also spread by chickens pecking at one another's eyes or beaks. Once it is in the coop, it is difficult to stop the spread throughout the entire flock. There is currently no specific and effective treatment for avian infections caused by the foul pox virus. For now, the primary emphasis lies in prevention, especially smart biosecurity measures and vaccinations. Biosecurity measures include controlling access to the flock and disinfecting equipment and facilities. Infected birds should be quarantined or isolated from the rest of the flock to prevent further transmission. In regions where fowl pox is more prevalent, it is recommended to vaccinate chickens and turkeys. Given the gradual spread of infection, administering vaccinations when fewer than 20% of the birds exhibit lesions can effectively limit the virus's dissemination within affected flocks. How to treat fowl pox in chickens Fowl pox is something your chickens will have to work through naturally on their own. However, supportive care and management can help affected birds recover and prevent the spread of the virus. The first thing you should do is to immediately separate the affected chickens. This will prevent the spread and make it less likely that the entire flock will be affected. Keep all birds, both sick and healthy, at the most comfortable temperature possible. This may mean supplementing heat or offering cooling stations to reduce stress and make it easier for their immune systems to fight off foul pox naturally. Secondly, offer good, easily digestible and nutritious food to the infected birds. Even if your flock typically prefers foraging, give them feed in their coop or run to make it easier for them. This helps maintain their strength and aids in the recovery process. Always have clean and fresh water available. Make sure to empty and rinse the bucket at least once a day. This makes the water more enticing and allows their immune systems better chances of recovering. Third, do not pick at the lesions or scabs. I know it's easy to want to pull those off, but don't touch them. They are uncomfortable for the bird and will only become more painful, especially if you peek at them. Letting these marks heal naturally speeds up the healing process, reducing the risk of secondary bacterial infections or further transmission to other birds. These scabs, lesions, blisters, and accompanying pus or secretions will cause the spread or reinfection of your flock. And fourth, vaccinate your birds to prevent another outbreak. As we've said, there is no specific treatment. Prevention is key. Vaccination is a proactive measure to control the spread of foul pox. Consult with a veterinarian to establish an appropriate vaccination schedule for your flock. We have answered more questions about foul pox in our full article in this link. Here, you'll learn if eggs laid by foul pox patients are safe to eat, if this 
this disease is contagious to humans or if it can kill an affected chicken and much more. Just click this link to learn more. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also visit our website at thehappychickencook.com or subscribe to our daily newsletter for more tips and tricks in raising your backyard flock. Thanks for watching!